Did you get what I just said? The Lord will help us this morning in Jesus' name. Now, six reasons why you should bless people. Why you should say God bless you to someone. Six reasons why you should say God bless you to anyone around you. Why you should bless people. I hope I'm still on check. Okay? Because it's a good and right thing to do. Deuteronomy 12 28. Give us that scripture quickly. Deuteronomy 12 28. So you should do that which is good and right. Deuteronomy 12 28. Are you with me? Yes. Okay. What does it say? It says, Be careful to obey all my commands so that all will go well with you and your children after you. Because you will be doing what is good and pleasing to your God. Give us in KJV, please. I beg you in the name of God. It's like the KJV language is what I used to prepare to this lesson. He said, Observe and hear all these words which I command thee that it may go well with thee and with your, thy children after thee forever. When thou doest that which is good and right in the sight, what is good and right? To bless. Did you get it? When you wake up in the morning, bless. Hey, you be a very troublesome husband like me. Bless. Eh? It could be a very interesting and uh, pain in the neck. Bless. I used to have a colleague in the office that I, that I used to step on my toes. But when I ever finished, God bless you, more abundantly several times, he came to ask me, what, does, what do you want God to bless me for? I said, ah, if God blesses you, you will change. I said, oh, I have decided to change. <laughs> Amen. Amen. It is good and the right thing to do is to do what? Amen. Bless. Number two, I can't go into more scriptures about it because of time. But if you read our uh, one of the four anchor scriptures, two uh, precious words should come out of our mouth. Number two is it's a command. Can you see that it says what I command thee? If you are a Bible reader, if you look at the book of Numbers. The word of the Lord came to Moses, saying that Moiron and his children should bless. After this, he gave us a style at which we should bless. The Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, the Lord be gracious to you. Amen. Hello. Okay, it was not working before. Oh, sorry, man. This is well. I wish the, this one was working. Amen. Amen. Okay. So, it, the word of God commands us to what? To bless. You can read that in 1 Peter 3, 8 and 9. 8 and 9 particularly. Give me 1 Peter 3, 9. See that the word of God commands us to bless. Remember those three things I said about Jesus? We said he's the what? He's a king. He's a priest. He's a priest. And what? He's a prophet. Now we are supposed to operate in those three places. And those three places makes us what? One of it, which is the priest. The priest is a mediator. He's an intercessor. So what do I do? I stand in between I what? And I bless you. That's why I say to you this day, you are blessed in your going out. Amen. You are blessed in your coming in. The lines are falling to you in pleasant places. Amen. You have a godly heritage. Amen. Whatever seems impossible for you, I decree under the unction of the Holy Ghost this morning, they become possible in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will enjoy your own age. Amen. Some of you are wondering, I'm still young. I say you will enjoy your old age. Amen. That prayer is not a saying for you, you will not die young. Amen. Rather, you will live to enjoy your good old age in the name of Jesus. Amen. First Peter 3 says, not ready even for evil or ready for really, but contrary, contrary wise blessings. What should you do? Bless people. Number three. Because our position as a priest is required for us to what? Bless. I already said that. Revelations 1 6. Please give us Revelation 1 6. 
We are royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. We were asked to bless. What will the priest do after he has gone into the holies of holies and he has spoken? I have offered something, but when he comes out, what did he do? He blesses. And has made us king. Who has made us king? And priest unto God and his father to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Are you a priest? Amen. Then you are made to who? Amen. To bless. To bless who? Others. You are in a position to bless. Why do you need to bless people? What are the reasons why you need to bless people? Is the right thing to do? Number one, you are commanded to bless. Number three, you are in the position to bless. Number four, because what you want others to do to you is what you will do. Matthew 7, 12. As you want others to do to you, so you should also want to do unto them likewise. Please give us that Matthew 7, 12. That's a principle of life. I watched a movie yesterday that the mother quoted this stylish thing to deliver a newly wedded wife who was having a problem with mother in law. And he says, Go back there. As you want them to do to you, go and do to them likewise like that. He said, Therefore, all things whatsoever you would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. What do you want people to do to you? Do you want them to bless you? Yes. Bless them too. So look to somebody to your left and to your right, begin to bless them. Yes. Yes. The blessing of God that make them rich and added no sorrow to it is your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Reason number four? Am I on number four? Yes, sir. Number five now. I wanted to know if you are following. Because that is what God will do. So if God was on this earth, physically like Jesus was on the earth, the only thing he's permitted to do is to bless. That is why you looked at that man. You looked at Peter. And Peter said, I have called all night and God nothing. I said to him, cast in your nets. He said, then Peter said what? As you have said, right? I will follow you. What came out of it? He calls net breaking men. I speak to under everyone on the sound of my voice. Hear the word of the Lord. Wherever you have called, I have not caught anything. I decree in the name of Jesus, recast your net and get net breaking miracles in the name of Jesus. Amen. And number six. Because there is power in words. That's why you need to bless people. There is what? Power. Scripture says, the power of life and death. So the power. The story is told in the book of Ezekiel. The Lord led Ezekiel to the bone, to the valley of dry bones. And they looked at Ezekiel and asked him question, can this both things? And by the end of the day, the Bible just said to Ezekiel, he said, just speak. And the Bible said, and as I spoke, what happened? The bones began to locate their joints. There was a shaking, there was the wind. And the mental forces began to move. Because what? Words have what? Power. That's why you need to bless me. So let's run up this morning. As I tell you, the meaning of God bless you. So that you know how to use it better. God bless you. <laughs> Some people have not understand it. God bless you. 